All right, in an effort to learn how to cook, my mom is gonna show me how to make a roast chicken. So what do we need here? Well, obviously a chicken. Our chicken. <laughs> um, it's, it's basic, okay? A chicken with some herbs, so rosemary, thyme, garlic, lemon, salt, and pepper to begin. Okay, let's, I guess we'll just get right into this. Let's go. <laughs> okay, what is our very first step? Well, the first step is Put your oven on. I like to roast my chicken at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to use really good chicken. If you're going to do this, oh, you need to use like a you good, need to use a, a good, good chicken. chicken. Don't use one of those cheap ones. Get a good one as much as as as, as much as you can afford. That's what I say. But make sure it's a good one. It does make a world of difference. This particular chicken doesn't have any of the giblets in it and anything like that. If it does, just take them out. That's not a problem. It usually comes in a little bag already contained, so it's easy. Transfer this to our dish. Here it goes. What do we do now? We have our chicken in our little pot. What are we doing? So we're going to stuff the chicken first. So okay. we're going to get half a lemon. We're going to sort of pick up your chicken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, and one thing about me is I hate peeling <laughs> with raw meat and I just put it so squeeze a little bit of the juice okay. in there squeeze it in right into like yeah right into the there oh yeah okay and then just put in the put it in throw it in okay do I do it the and same now with the other? no you don't have to do okay. the other right now then you get your garlic okay? okay and what I would do is I would use that whole garlic okay, but what I would do with that garlic is I would cut it kind of like half half just cut it like that. Oh my god. And then you stick the whole thing. So you have all yeah, just the like like that. cloves here. Yeah. That you can see. Do I am I peeling or no? No, no. no? You don't need to peel because it's Ooh. gonna when it cooks, it's gonna get cooked. Okay. There. And so I put it inside. Put it inside well. too. Yeah. Perfect. And then you're gonna get your salt. Now because you've been using Dealing with chicken, chicken, I need to you need to wash your hands. Do my little and here's the thing too. Sophie situation and then you very the important chicken. now we're going to pick up the chicken as well and Here, we're why going don't you to pick it up and then oh, oh you want me no, to do this <laughs> okay fine. I just washed my hands okay, okay. here you go so and then you're going to sprinkle inside inside get in okay get in there okay that's it some more a little bit more okay perfect and then do it and the then side? not right now but what yeah. you can do is you can Grab rosemary. one rosemary and kind of bend it. Just bend it to get the oils out. Oh, I see. So just like that. Just like it. that. No, that's fine. Okay, that's I, fine. I broke it. That's so. okay. Stick it in. Do you want to pick it up for me? Yes. <laughs> Stick it in. <laughs> I told her. Okay, and then do this. Do the same with one of the um, the thyme. The thyme as well. Put it in as much as you can. Okay. Okay. So okay. let's put that in. Make sure get it in there. Okay, and yeah. then grab your olive oil and we'll just switch. We'll just switch. Yeah. inside, right? Inside a little bit, just to, yeah, that's it. Just move it around there, Melissa. Okay, okay. Don't be shy. Okay, and then that's it. We're done. And do you okay. the outside? And now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the outside as well. So so all use oil. olive oil. You just like to do a little. Over the legs, oh. over the others. Just make it fun. And now we're doing salt and pepper? Yeah, just season it now with your salt and pepper. Bring okay. it up high a little bit so you get more. That's it, that's better. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Just do a little extra. Okay. <laughs> just, you know, and some pepper. Some pepper. There. That's it, really. Wait for your... Now, if you wanted to, you could tie the legs together and that, but we're doing basic no, here. No, we're not okay. going to do that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Basic, okay. And then how long do you cook it in the oven for? Uh, it depends on this, uh, on the size of this. I think, I'm going to say about an hour, okay. maybe more, maybe less. Okay, the oven has come to temperature, so it is time to put our chicken in. Okay. And we'll check on it in what, 40 minutes you'd say? Yeah. Okay. 40 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to the sauce. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to the sauce. Now this is completely optional, but I personally think this makes a roast chicken. Um, so what are we doing first? What do we need? So wait, for this we need 
a little bit of honey, olive oil, some mustard, and I know it's weird, but we are going to be using just this, like Lynch's prepared just mustard. Just regular mustard. Just because it's tangy and it's a nice tangy it's mustard. It's really good. Like a, a mustard, a honey mustard chicken mm, is yeah. so good. So we've got the lemon, we've got honey, we've got this mustard and some olive oil and garlic. Okay. Course. Okay. So first we squeeze the lemon. Now we squeeze the lemon. Perfect. Are we just doing half of a lemon? Well, we'll start with half and we'll see what happens. You know, you I can feel like you it. need more, yeah. Okay, so should I cut you another half? If you wouldn't mind. Okay, I can do that. You put that right into the right pan. Right in there. Yeah, put it in. There we go. And now we're going to take some honey. Okay. So I would do like a tablespoon of honey. Like heaping? Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Oh my God, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Mess. Yeah. Just put it in. Perfect. Go. Then, probably about the same amount for your you want to shake it. Yeah. Just put it right on the first. same on the same spoon. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just yeah, about a. This will work. Oh. Yeah. Put a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Yep. So like eyeball it. Eyeball it. You may need more. You may need exactly. less. Exactly. It comes. I just like to taste when yeah. it's ready. Okay, and about and then olive a, oil. Like, again about a tablespoon of the olive oil, like like a running tablespoon. Yeah, sort of thing. yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna salt put and pepper. Well, we have garlic here, so we need to dice some, it. Well, not dice it. I personally, I would just um, flatten it. Flatten it, like just just, just kind of hit it down. Hit it down okay. with the with the end of your um. See if I can like, this. Take your your. There you go. Just bash it up Ow. until it opens. Come on, Marissa. Okay, that is painful. <laughs> well, you should be using a wide. Here, here. Let's just do this with a wide one. For bruises. Okay, there you there. go. There you go. Okay. Professional equipment. There. That's good. So just peel it and then just stick the whole thing in. You don't need to chop it down or anything like that. We're going to do is we're going to um, put it on the stove. Yeah, on the, it just to let it simmer for about ten minutes, and then that's it, and it's ready to go. Okay, it's on the stove. We're going to leave it for about five to ten minutes on a simmer. Okay, so here we have our chicken. It's been in there for about forty-five minutes, and now we're going to add our sauce. We're going to baste it with the sauce, so a little bit at a time. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's very yummy. I'm going to put it in for another, um, probably for another 20 minutes and then we'll check it again and we'll rebaste it again. So our chicken is done. Look. She looks Gorgeous. so good. This is the chicken and it looks and smells incredible. Look at how colored it is. Oh my gosh. So I usually test it to see if it's cooked just by moving the legs and you see how that just comes away. That tells me it's cooked. However, to be on the safe side, get yourself a little thermometer, um, stick it in between the breast and the, the leg, and it should read anywhere between 165 to 175. And if it does that, you know you're good to go. And you're done. You just let it um, relax, you cover it, you let it relax for about 20 minutes, and then you're ready to dig in. chicken and it looks so good i also um might have tasted it already mm -hmm. and it's really good and then all the like juices here we just use it to make gravy right yeah that would be done it's really good mm -hmm. and then we have potatoes boiling in the back for some mashed potatoes because we're gonna have a true sunday roast chicken dinner on a monday on a monday <laughs> yeah but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video then you know, subscribe if you want to. It um, would be nice. Be really nice. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, we'll see you next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.